Hey, what is up YouTube? Lando Tech here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to play Steam games on your Google TV. In order for this to work, you'll need a computer and a Bluetooth game controller. If you don't already have a Bluetooth game controller, I have a link for one in my description below. And if you do have a game controller, we're going to want to start off by pairing our game controller to the Google TV. To do that, go to Settings, Remote and Accessories, Pair Remote or Accessory. Now, place your controller in pair mode. For my Nintendo Switch controller, I do that by pressing and holding the home button until the lights start flashing. Once the controller shows up, click on it to start connecting to it. Then tap pair. Now go to the home screen. Tab over to the apps tab. Go down to search and search for Steam Link. Click Steam Link, click install, and click continue. While we're waiting on the download to complete, let's go over to our computer. We'll have to make sure the Steam app is installed and has remote play enabled. If you don't already have Steam installed, go to store.steampowered.com. At the top right, click install Steam. Click install Steam again. Launch the installer file. Follow the on-screen installation steps. Then open Steam when complete. Now click Steam at the top left. Click Settings, click Remote Play, and ensure Enable Remote Play is on. And leave it at this screen for now. Now, let's go over to our Google TV. Click Open. When prompted, click Allow. Then, get started. It will start to scan your computer, so make sure both your Google TV and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. If your computer is still not being detected after the scan, then click the option for other computer. You'll be given a four digit code. Go to your computer, click pair steam link, then enter that four digit number to complete pairing. Once paired, you'll be able to either use the mouse on your computer or the Bluetooth controller paired to your Google TV to navigate around Steam. Open a game of your choice, then choose play. If you haven't already installed these games, you'll be prompted to install them and or purchase them if you haven't selected a free game. The gameplay is heavily dependent on the speed of your internet connection. So if your connection is poor, then you'll see noticeable lag in the gameplay. But you can always go into settings and do things like lower the resolution to allow for smoother gameplay. Now, if the games offered by Steam just aren't what you're looking for, no worries. Just click on this video right here to learn how to play Sony PlayStation games on your Google TV.